Okay. Welcome to another video in the day of the life of a plumber. Main water stop was buried. The city found it for us. I have it turned off. Got a magnet on the end of my tape measure. Oh yeah. Why does it look like half inch though? I was hoping for three quarter inch at least, but if that's half inch, I'll never be able to get my uh, cable through that. Anyways, expect the unexpected. You won't be surprised. Well, as it turns out, you can see I am very surprised. As I started feeding it through in the existing galvanized line, it's a struggle. You can see poking it in, pulling it back, poking it forward, pulling it back, slowly moving forward. So, suffice to say, I was pleasantly surprised it kept going. Now this is actually the wedge cone that it feeds on to the cable before it's pulled through because at the end is a swedge and that's what does the pulling power on this wedge head cone, whatever you want to call it. It does have a slicing knife, but that's really only helpful mostly for copper and plastic. But in many instances, it will split apart this galvanized line on its very own. Sometimes if they are newer and still in decent shape, it won't do that. So we got to deal with roots now. Must have been a great big tree around this water stop. Stopped at it. Stopped at 90 or stopped at, at a tough spot. It's a miracle, we got the cable through. Can hardly believe it. It's a half inch gabby line all the way through though, so. I don't know if that helped or not. See if there's room in here for the head to go through. I don't know what's up with this. Nope, so I left my flashlight on. The battery's gonna die for sure. It's nice, it's rechargeable. It's a Nebo Slide King S L Y D E. Uh, it feels like there's all scads of space in here for that. Guess we'll find out. Alright, I'm going to try to flare this copper line. Okay, so quickly about that uh, hole that I was trying to open up with my little long pry bar. Quick note about that. It was pretty futile to do so, and shortly thereafter I got a core drill set up, a diamond core drill set up, about three and a half inches outside diameter for the core drill bit that runs on my whole hog, of all things, with a water adapter to uh, keep the dust down and keep it clear, you know, as you're going. That works out phenomenal compared to this. Obviously, you learn as you go. Here I am flaring on the on the end of the copper pipe. I actually don't have a flare tool that goes that clamps around it and a cone inside of it. And maybe they don't make them. I don't know. But this is actually part of the kit that you can get for this pipe slice system. It threads on the end. There's a couple different attachments that thread on the end of this wedge cone. This is meant for copper. There's some for poly. All right. Uh, are you able to pull? Can you hear me? Let's see what it does. Okay, now comes the moment of truth. Ladies and gentlemen, you're actually going to experience <laughs> my camera falling into water. And here on out, it's really muffled. The picture quality starts deteriorating because it gets all juicy with whatever's in the water. But this is the very, very first pull through galvanized. Watch it. There it goes. It kind of split open the end of that galvanizer. Very first galvanize we did. And you can actually see it splitting open the galvanize because it's old enough and... 
it um, is solidified in the ground enough to actually stay put instead of pull through. Now, when we do get to a coupling later on, it will not be able to slice through the coupling, of course. Now, it sounds kind of funny, but that kind of like a jerking, chattering noise is when it splits a little, little galvanized, and then the uh, tension on the cable is slightly released, so it stops, goes, stops, goes in real quick succession. Made a little bit progress. It's pretty slick. Well, the galvanized line started pulling out. Excellent. I gotta call my excavator though. Hey, hold up! You almost, uh, we almost kinked this lineup. Um, I should have got you on the phone first, but uh, are you resetting? Three quarter inch. Three quarter. Oh, you you got copper out to the the street? Yeah, we're past the stop. Sweet. All right. Six times the charm, as they say, right? <laughs> right. All right, I'll be out. So, uh, real quick here, this is a new thing I'm trying this voiceover at a later date because this job actually took place sometime last year. I kind of forget exactly when. I can check the date, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. The point here is that I'm trying to do voiceover for stuff that isn't self-explanatory in these videos. As you can see here, I actually cut the uh, copper, put a sleeve in there because at a little bit after this, I do fill that hole in with hydraulic cement and, of course, has to separate it from the copper. You make sure to ream it. Always make sure to ream it. I don't care what they say. Ream the inside of your copper pipe. That prevents cavitation as the water flows through it and prevents premature failure of the pipe and fitting in that area. Propress. So I've heard that Propress isn't allowed in some places directly on the service line, but nobody cares here. I'm not sure what the problem would be, but it makes it nice that we can actually do that. Okay, time to turn the water on. We did it. Wow. Okay, so I switched to my uh, camera phone. Uh, because moisture, well, I, it, uh, my camera accidentally dropped in a bucket of water. It was a shallow bucket of water, but it still got moisture in it. I'm going to wait for that to dry out. Can't even see through the lens, but leftover copper, of course. And I didn't show you because I'd have to basically have a whole camera crew. But this is what happened when I uh, used a cable pull that really wasn't designed for this. And it basically cut it, mushed it through and cut it right at this point. So it did this twice. So once we, once we realized we need it to go around like a smooth point of attachment with some radius to it to distribute the force uh, applied on the cable, and that's what we did in the excavator, and we were able to really start pulling it through, and then it eventually started pulling the line out itself. So they had a half-inch water line, and now they have a three-quarter inch copper line. So they upsized it and got rid of their leaking galvanized line at the same time, and... This stayed intact, it did not budge, so they knew what they were doing when they put this swedge on the end. It was able to take the full force of the pull. No problem there. So something happened also when it was in the pipe. It's like the cable grip that I had, and I'll show you right here. It's not even really, like I said, it's not really designed for that much force. So here's the cable grip, and I believe because it's got a curvature to the pawl, that it gripped it in too small of an area. The one I was supposed to get has a straight paw that grips perpendicular to the seat, or this, this bottom piece here. So instead of a circular with very small uh, surface area to grip, the one that I need to get is actually going to be parallel and it'll grip all along the length of the cable instead of one small point. Yeah, my bad. So this will work, I think this will work perfectly fine for your plastic and copper I, I believe we'll try it one day but pulling galvy with that much force no go so I, and so going back to what I was noticing here before 
and it, that it like stretched it or deformed really badly. You can see right here where it started really pulling it apart, stretching it, and now I can't get my wedge cone off. Lesson learned, a couple lessons learned. But all in all, I'm surprised that it actually worked out as well as it did despite, you know, having progressively shorter lengths of cable as it split apart in itself. Fortunately, it split apart up on the street and we had plenty enough to chat, attach to to make another run and it turned out in the end. So this wraps up another uh, successful trenchless uh, water line replacement. Just had to dig a hole here, of course, by the meter. Well, there's no meter. The meter's inside. This is simply the uh, water stop. The city actually came out, got us a new tube and a new valve. He replaced it while we had the trench open. This corner of the house underneath all this. Uh, basically right underneath that downspout. So underneath all this, we got a gas line just to the right of it. The old gas line to the left of it. And all this shrubbery, this uh, vegetation, this sidewalk. And avoided hitting anything else underground that might have not have been accounted for. And uh, we're set to go. Alright, thanks for following along. Have a great day. See you the next time when we got something exciting going on.